Lennox's daughter filed for 100% of the inheritance. Oh, really? Interesting. So today we're back with Toothbrush. And the last one, I'll have it linked where you can go catch up. Our girl, Natasha. She's in jail for the potential offing of her now ex-husband. She is a widow, a black widow we are not entirely sure of yet. I hope she's not because I stan her, but the jury will decide her fate. So we got to see what we can do with iconic lawyers and see if we can get her out of this mess like we got her husband. And we're going to see what drama occurs, what he spills, all of the good juicy stuff. You can, of course, go follow the amazing author Lucas. His Instagram is linked in my description box down below. And without further ado, let's start the drama. You know, I would love to start this story, but I am still in disbelief of whatever Lily's Garden is. I got an ad... I really don't know what to think, but okay, okay, back to toothbrush. So what happened? Why did the police arrest Natasha Lennox? I thought their case was still too weak. Mr. Lennox's mistress contacted the police herself. Apparently, Natasha went to her apartment and left a message on her front door. Natasha says no. How can they be sure it was her? I mean, Natasha isn't the brightest, but she's not that stupid. Do you really believe what you just said? I was about to be like, oh, girl. It's Natasha, though. No, but I'm trying to convince myself that she didn't do such a crazy thing. I mean, just take a look at the message. We're just gonna, we're gonna ignore this. This is an icon. We're gonna look past this, Natasha. That's definitely something Natasha would do. Did they test the lip gloss? Is it hers? Yes, she was even wearing it when they arrested her. Is it just me or does she not look so innocent to me anymore? Daniel, what are you trying to say? Are you switching sides, Daniel? Well, I'm. what I'm saying is maybe she really did Gabriel Lennox. Could Natasha be guilty? I just don't think she's guilty. It's too obvious. It was set up how she angrily walked away and all the evidence is against her. She couldn't even spell the B word right. I don't think she could get away with something like that. Maybe she's a mastermind secretly and I'm completely wrong, but I think she's innocent. She loved her husband, we know that. She also loved his money, maybe she wanted to inherit everything. I checked the will, if Gabriel Lennox died, she was supposed to share the money with Renata Lennox's daughter. Why did you say that in the past tense? Because now that she has been arrested, she might not get anything. Lennox's daughter filed for 100% of the inheritance. Oh, really? Interesting. Wait, that's a game changer. What if Natasha's being framed then? Lennox's ex-wife and daughter probably don't want to share the money. So they pay someone to kill Gabriel and frame Natasha for it. They win the jackpot. I don't know. These are just theories. We need to talk to Natasha and clear this up. You're still her lawyer, so you should be allowed to visit her. Anyways, I'm glad you're back to take this case. I have five new clients waiting after me. I did the best I could. I know. Thank you very much for holding the fort while we were away. No problem. Good luck with Mrs. Lennox. Okay, so we don't even have a minute to rest. I definitely did not miss this. Y'all should have quit when you had the chance. Welcome back to the life we chose. Let's visit Natasha. She might have the answers we need. True, we need to hear from her about all this stuff. Okay, we yes, we're defending her, Gwen. Yeah, she's a new client. We had a signed with her a week before she was arrested. I'm sure it'll be great. You did an incredible job on the Gabriel Lennox case. Thank you, Gwen. What about you? How do you like training the new intern? Question is, do you like working for the firm? Yeah, I love it. Gwen is super fun to be around. Yesterday we made out in Mr. Bohm's office. It was really cool. Oh, they're getting up to a little something. Something. Oh, look at Gwen. She shook. Even with Tristan, we said we wouldn't tell anyone at the firm about us. Oh, come on. It's no big deal. We had a great time. I told you Mr. Butthome doesn't like couples within the law firm. Okay, so he doesn't like couples, which is why we kept ours on the DL. I will always remember what he did to that couple on my first day of my internship here. Heidi knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so this gives us a good background of why. Because this entire time I was like, why are y'all so secretive? Stop. It's extra. But apparently they were not extra and this was good that they kept it DL. Okay, my name is Gwen. Okay, the new intern, it's nice to meet you, Gwen. You're fired. Both of you. 
Couples are not allowed ooh, within this firm. You know that. But you can't just fire us because we're together. Well, read the employment contract again. There is a clause about for... Oh, my phone's dying. Okay. You cannot be working here if you are dating. So you're both fired. Okay, the level of extra. I don't want to be fired, girl. We're going to keep a secret. Don't work and we won't tell anyone. Plus, if he tried to fire them, I'd be like, we're dating too. Good luck. You just lost your star lawyers and your interns. So enjoy. I didn't know about that. How did Butthole find out they were dating? No one knows. They were probably ratted out by other co-workers. Hmm. I think I know who Jenna. Oh, come on. It's no big deal. I mean, you're a couple, right? He never fired you. Um, no, we're not dating. Yeah, we're not together. We're just regular colleagues. Exactly. Regular colleagues working together. Of course, they are just colleagues, Tristan. They're not stupid enough to break this rule. Right, sorry, I just assumed because you two appeared to have mad chemistry. He was right. He didn't lie. It's just we can't, you know, I, we, we literally cannot say anything now. Did you know about the no dating policy at work? Of course I did. Everyone knows about it. Really, I didn't. Why can't we date people from work? Because we're one of the best law firms of the city. Mr. Butthome doesn't want personal feelings to interfere with the work we do. That's crazy. Why didn't you tell me before? True, why didn't you say anything, Heidi? I've been thinking this whole time, like, why are you too much? Well, I thought you knew. That's why I didn't want anyone to know about us. So how are we supposed to try to be together if we're not allowed to be? I don't know. Okay, let him try us. Let him try us. Fire us. Fire us. See who can defend your clients now. Jenna? Okay. Natasha Lennox is ready for you. Oh, I remember you two. I told you I'd find a way to arrest her. I'd say it was rather easy to do so. I knew your client wasn't innocent. Oh, Detective Shepard. Try us. Try us. Congratulations, Detective. Would you like a medal that says good job, maybe? You still think you're funny. Uh, the only person trying to be funny here is you, Detective Shepard. Because you a clown. Your client is facing murder charges. The trial is happening next month. So I suggest you stop acting cocky and start building your case. Oh, 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 oh. Take your own advice, Detective Shepard. Do not worry. Our case will be ready. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have to see our clients. Bye-bye, Detective Shepard. Okay, Queen. Miss Lennox, how are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I am wearing an orange outfit. It's horrible, and I can't even make bail. I don't know why. Yeah, we heard. Gabriel's daughter filed a case against you for the inheritance. She wants to inherit everything, the whole Lennox estate. What? So I'm gonna be broke? Well, we're gonna fix this. That's what we were paid to do. We did this for her husband. You were married to Gabriel Lennox. You deserve to inherit his money. If... If that was the way it was written in the contracts and the wills and everything, then whatever. What if you can't? What if she wins? Oh no, I don't want to be broke. I would rather gain four pounds than go broke. This is a nightmare. I understand this is hard on you, but this is just a secondary concern. You have been arrested for the murder of your husband, Natasha. A trial will start next month. We need you to stay focused. I'm going to end up broke and in prison. Why is this happening to me? Look, we will try to fix the inheritance problem tomorrow, and then we will start building a strategy for the trial, okay? Okay, I trust you, sexies. Good, then if you trust us, we need to know we can trust you. So I will only ask you this one last time, and I want the truth. Oh, he's laying it down. The truth or nothing, Natasha. Did you or did you not murder your husband? I have to admit, I was more of a gold digger than a perfect wife, but I loved him. You have to believe me, I did not murder gay babe. All right, we believe you then. You know what, if she sat there and she admitted she was a gold digger. She, I, I just don't think she, she couldn't even do the lip gloss right. I, how would she hold a weapon? I don't see it. Hold on a little longer until we solve the inheritance problem. I'll try to. Please do. I hope she's okay in there. I'll set up a meeting with Lennox's daughter tomorrow. This will be some interesting tea, though. Maybe we can find an agreement for the inheritance. That's a good idea. It might save us the trouble to go to court. Cool, I'll take care of that then. I'll see you tomorrow then as a non-romantically involved colleague. You sound bitter. Of course I'm bitter. We pretended to be together and now we have to pretend that we're not. 
pretend we're not together. I know it's stupid. We will have to be careful. It's just where we can be together outside. Okay, we can live our life outside and then be professional at the firm. I know, I guess it's better than nothing. All right, get some rest in it. I'll see you at work tomorrow. Okay, they got this. I'm just so scared they're going to get caught. I thought you'd be happy now that Daniel's back. I know, me too, but he just learned about the no dating policy at the firm. So now we feel it's just one more obstacle, and we still have the Michael and Veronica problem. Sometimes, oh, I forgot about Michael and Veronica. Such flops. One step at a time, Heidi. You need to be patient, so let's have some fun. Have a drink, but not too many. We've seen what happens when you have too many. And who is this? Where's our normal friend? Where is Stuart? I usually work here during the afternoon, but I have to cover Stuart's shift tonight. His girlfriend called. Apparently, he is sick in bed. I don't trust that girlfriend one bit. Girlfriend? He's still dating that crazy girl? Apparently. Speaking of her, she messaged me last night. What? How did she even get your number? I don't know. Maybe from Stuart. But I wish I hadn't found it. Look what she sent me. I saw you at the Lucky Bee last night. Stay away from Stuart. He is mine and I won't let anyone destroy what we have. The only person destroying is you, Bexley. I already warned that friend of yours. Now it's your turn. I hope you save that, so watch your back, Prudence. I'm not joking around. Look at her eyes. They're screaming, I'm crazy. It's always in the eyes. Prudence girl is insane. You should get a restraining order. What now? Barking dogs seldom bite. She's not a barking dog. She's a rabid one. Seriously, she scares me. Be careful, okay? Do you think Stuart is safe around that girl? We need to warn him. Yes, I'll tell him whenever I see him. But really, don't worry about Stuart. He knows how to handle creeps. Just look at the weirdo who's always following you around. Hey, that's offensive. (laughs) Go away, weirdo. I like how he's just always there. Maybe we should get a restraining order against that one, too. I'm just, ladies, I'm all yours. What can I get you? Just a soda for me. I'm going to work tomorrow. Can I get a mojito? (laughs) Prue, don't you have to be at work later? Oh no, I got fired from the nightclub. They caught me drinking for free behind the bar. You know what, though? One soda and one mojito then. Would you like anything else? Well, I would also like to get a piece of you. When does your shift end? Oh, they're having a moment. Awkward. Okay, you just gotta love Prue. She's so honest. She just does what Prue wants to do. So now we're going to look cute is what we're gonna do. Chic. Cute business exec realness gold. I feel like we've already worn that. Classy. Ooh, the jacket or bossy. Classy. I love this. I love this. She looks amazing. You look perfect, girl. The gold. The gold accents. The red. The matching of the lips. Love it. You seem to be in a very good place right now, Heidi. Yes, I am. I just spent an amazing week in London with Daniel. I feel good. Did you think about the warning of your respective exes? Michael and Veronica... We stay not thinking about them. They are so far behind us in everything. It's only when we came back here that I was reminded of that warning. We are already not allowed to be together at work. Now we'll have to be careful outside too. I don't know if I'll be able to take all this pressure. Is she? Are you really smoking during my session? Yeah, I need it. Your problems are stressing me out. Dr. Marin is an icon to so many legends in this story. I have no idea how you can manage all this. So what, no inspirational speech or useful piece of advice today? Well, your life is a huge mess, but you have to keep hope. What comes around goes around. Every action comes with a consequence. So Michael and Veronica will eventually pay the bitchy consequences of their bitchy actions. And for now, if you're happy with Daniel, you should continue seeing him. Yes, ma'am. How we can't be together because of our jobs and our exes are watching us. You will find a way to fix all this. You are one hell of a good lawyer, aren't you? Am I a good lawyer? I'm the best. I'm the best you can find. Have confidence. She got this. Believe in yourself. Screw all these other people. They are so irrelevant. Why is she shook? Why are you here? What are you doing here, Michael? Heidi, we need to talk about our little agreement. 
what agreement? What is this meeting about? It's not in your schedule. No, Jenna, what you need to call is the security on this building. None of your business, Jenna. I work here. I have the right to know. Well, not this time. Don't you have new contracts to butcher? Oh, girl. So another lawyer can get deported? Michael, let's go to my office. Why is why is he being allowed in this building? That's what I don't understand. I thought I asked you not to see Daniel anymore. Yes. Oh, yes, you did. Because, oh, really, did you? Let's just play it like that. Did you ask that? I can't remember. Stop playing. I know you were in London with him. I had no choice in this. I had to go for work. Well, soon you might be out of work if you keep seeing him. So I would suggest you start cutting ties before they snap. Erase Daniel from your life right now or Veronica will leak the video. And what? To who? Your Facebook friends? Daniel? Or Michael? Whoever? Somebody? Oh, Michael, you're here. What a coincidence. I was just thinking it smelled like shit. <laughs> yeah, right, life. While well, you still can, Harper. Stomp out of here. Bye-bye. I just saw Michael on his way out. What did he want? Always the same thing. He blackmailed me with the video and wants to separate us. I can't believe this guy. Why don't we have a restraining order? That's what I don't understand. Girlfriend's a lawyer. Girl. Fights. You got this. We have to do something. We can't just let them win. I know that's exactly what I was thinking. Yes, sis. So if they want to play dirty, we'll give them dirt. A lot of it. I like the way you think, love muffin. Daniel. We're at work. You can't talk to me like this here. Someone could hear you. Right, sorry. Anyways, I could schedule a meeting with Lennox's daughter and her lawyer. We're seeing them in an hour at the courthouse. Great, let's go then. Hopefully we can find a deal for Natasha. So, we're going to see after we put Michael in his little place. Hello. Ooh, she looks like she goes through a lot. Hello, Miss Lennox. Thank you for meeting us today. Why is... And look who showed up. If it's not Veronica... Girl, you're going to lose again. Okay. Do not address my daughter without the consent of her lawyer, Mr. Harper. Renata, do not say a word to them. I will handle this. Of course you hired Veronica. Excuse me, I thought we were meeting with Renata and her lawyer only. Renata is too emotionally fragile. Apparently not fragile enough to claim the inheritance a week after his death. Did you come here to insult us or to cut a deal? You're right. We have a deal for you. I believe we all know Natasha Lennox isn't capable of murdering someone, so we'd like to release her on bail. Except she has no money since you froze the inheritance on you by filing a case against her. That bimbo gold digger doesn't deserve my ex-husband's money. It belongs to my daughter Renata. Actually, she does, Natasha. She may was married to Gabriel Lennox. She is in his will. Natasha and Renata were supposed to share that money. She killed them. She doesn't deserve to receive a dime. We won't cut a deal with you. My daughter deserves her father's inheritance. Let's go, Renata. The You're still together. I take it you decided to ignore our warnings. Veronica, you are about... That's a shame, Heidi. You were such a good lawyer. Say goodbye to your job. You're insane, Veronica. And where would the fun in that be, Daniel? Oh, Veronica. Stop. Stop. Y'all got this. There must be something we can do. This can't be the end. We can't just let them win. They need to pay. Yes, Daniel. I will find something to stop them, Heidi. I promise. I won't let Michael and Veronica hurt you. Girl, get your fighting face on. <gasps> I had to collect myself. <laughs> I had to collect myself and be a better person. Let me know your thoughts and opinions below. I'm sorry I'm not doing the next chapter, guys. My carpal tunnel's acting up today. It hurts to hold my phone. But let me know what you think. We're coming back with the double. And the next one, like this video to let me know that you want the next part of Toothbrush. Because let me tell you, I want the next part of Toothbrush. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, before we go, the shout outs. A special shout out to Karen, the real one, Zoe Leezer, and Tazzy. Thank you so much for your love and support. It means the absolute world to me. I'm sorry if I messed up anybody's names, but thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who watches my videos. I hope you had an amazing day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much again, everyone. Bye.